One morning, Bill and Ben were busy at the quarry pushing and pulling cars filled with clay into their proper places. The twins are cheeky and love playing tricks, but they were growing restless. Listen, Bill, said Ben, can you hear something? What sort of something, asked Bill. Something different, replied Ben. I can't hear anything different, said Bill. Exactly, huffed Ben. Everything is the same. Sounds the same, looks the same. What we need is a surprise. Surprise what? asked Bill. Before Ben could answer, the quarry master arrived. I have just received a message from Sir Topham Hatt. He wants you to go to the station at the harbor. I wonder what we've done wrong this time, said Bill anxiously. It must be you, replied Ben. Why me? exclaimed Bill. I've not done anything. Edward is taking the children on a special trip today. I want you to go to the station and look after cars there. We'll do our best, sir, said the twins. Gordon spoke severely to them. You must behave here. You're on the main line now. Actually, Gordon, giggled Ben, when we saw you, we thought this was the scrapyard. Gordon was cross. Just make sure that my coaches are ready for my evening train. And he fumed away. The twins laughed and set to work. This is easy, they said to each other. We know all about cars. But I'm afraid they didn't. No need for that, shouted the cars as the twins pushed them into place. We'll show you around. We want to help. Thank you very much, said Bill and Ben. The cars giggled and began their tricks. Evening came. The yard was in a dreadful muddle. The twins had let the cars tell them where to put things. Gordon and the passengers waited impatiently outside the station while Bill and Ben tried to sort things out. But by the time Gordon was able to leave, it was very late indeed. Next day, the twins were working at the quarry again. That's a strange noise, gasped Bill. I've never heard a noise like that before. I have, whispered his driver nervously. It sounds like a rock slide to me. Then came the alarm. Danger! Clear the quarry, shouted the quarry master. Workmen scrambled into the cars. Thank goodness we're here, said the twins. They were just puffing out of the quarry when, help, wait for me! A workman had been left behind. Ben waited as the man climbed quickly aboard. The twins left the quarry just in time. Everyone was safe, but rubble lay all around. Oh dear, said Bill, this wasn't our fault. I hope Sir Topham Hatt will understand. And indeed he did. Next day, he arrived with Edward. Bill and Ben, you still have a lot to learn about cars, don't you? But you acted quickly and bravely in an emergency. So three cheers for Bill and Ben, our heroes. Hip, hip, hooray, hooray, hooray. Oh, thank you, sir, said Bill. Being called heroes, well, it's, it's, it's a really nice surprise, laughed Ben. <laughs>